Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2005 Jayco Designer 31 RLS double slide fifth wheel. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. I do want to point out while I'm right here, and so I don't forget, uh, on the outside that's the uh, only thing that may be a concern to a potential buyer if they're looking for a camper in 100% excellent pristine condition. A little chip came off the front cap there and the owner thinks it just happened. He doesn't know how it happened honestly, but he thinks it just recently happened, but uh, it's just cosmetic. It's a non-issue. But I do find it important to point out anything that may be a, a concern to a potential buyer. So I do want to point out the exterior length is 33 feet, 7 inches. Exterior height to the AC units is 12 feet, 9 inches. And the unloaded vehicle weight, when it came off the assembly line, as far as what the brochure is telling me, 9,505 pounds. That's what it weighs when it came off the assembly line. That is the unloaded vehicle weight, or UVW. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. This is a, a, a the owner thinks he's the second owner. He bought this from a dealer two years ago. So I believe it's a second owner coach. And the only reason why the owners are selling it is because their priorities have changed. They already sold their truck. So anyway, that's the reason why they're selling it. Go ahead and start in the living room. This is going to be your super slide in the living room. It's going to be definitely 12 foot long, at least 12 foot long, and two and a half, three foot deep. Accommodates the hide bed sleeper sofa, which is a queen bed hide bed. And all your fabrics are in excellent condition. Inside, this coach is 100% showroom condition, and I think a dealer would definitely agree with me. I think 1 through 10, 10 being the best. If, you, if I was going to rate it, uh, definitely I would rate this definitely in an 8. And a dealer might even rate it a nine, but I'm pretty particular. All your fabrics, cushions, everything, showroom condition. There's no sign of wear and tear, which is rare to find on the camper this old because we're going into 2019 and this is 2005. Usually there's a sign of wear and tear on these coaches of this age, but not on this one. Also in the super slide is going to be the freestanding table and chairs. Again, all the fabrics, 100% showroom condition. Colors are going to be like uh, blues, navy blues, and uh, your tans, got tans, maybe copper color. Sometimes I'm colorblind, so no sign of wear and tear on the chairs. And your window treatments are some of the best you're going to find in a fifth wheel, definitely in 2005. Jayco did a great job on their window treatments, kind of zoom in on that. Nice mirrored cabinets in the slide out. I do want to point out on the fascia here on the slide out. There's your designer badge there. Nice beautiful wood style uh, designer badge. Day night shades all throughout. I do want to point out, I'll show it when we get outside. This window is a bay window and it pops out. And uh, the owners actually, when they pop it out, when they use it, they put plants and stuff in the window. So that's pretty neat. I'll show that when we get outside. Do you want to point out before I forget? Uh, fan I'm sorry, uh, the fan, ceiling fan, and you do have a large 15,000 BTU AC unit with quick dump right there. Here's your louvers to do a quick dump, and once you've uh, cooled off the camper real quick, you can close off these louvers, and your AC will be ducted all the way through, but that is the large 15,000 BTU AC unit. Yeah, show off those cabinets in the rear here above the two rocker recliner lazy boy style chairs and your cabinets are all going to be solid wood drawer fronts and the colors on the hardware is going to be like a gold Let's see if I can get a good lighting on the hardware there it's going to be like a gold finish and this light's going to get me here in the big rear window here uh, two rocker recliners excellent condition oh fix it Definitely showroom condition on, on all the fabrics, the carpet, everything. And yeah, yeah, give you an idea of the color there. I don't know, they're blues and maybe coppers and I don't know, it looks like greens, but uh, everything's all matching for everything else. Everything's all original. I do want to point out the carpet's in excellent 100% showroom condition. I was pretty amazed when I saw the inside of this camper and saw how well it was maintained. 
Okay, on your kitchen area here, large countertops, uh, long J style, they're called J Stone from Jayco. Uh, it's like a Corian solid surface style countertop. It's not the wrap or the Famica tops, but definitely the way to go on a fifth wheel, definitely in 2005. It's definitely an entry level. Again, your sink, that's all J Stone or Corian style. I do want to point out my style square faucet. Lots of counter space. Uh, three burner gas cooktop. Front one's always going to be uh, high output and a nice cover than what you usually usually get on a traditional fifth wheel or a travel trailer. They kind of get a cheap, cheapy little uh, cover on top, but that's definitely a nice upgrade. 21 inch oven. Looks like it's never been used. Microwave, we are plugged into at least 110 right now. That's the 15 amp coach, but we're plugged into at least 110. Always make sure on a coach this age, make sure the microwave digital readout's working. Sometimes they do go out. And show off those cabinets. It's like a light, light oak. Nice little area up there for pots, plants, potted plants, or a you know, some kind of a decoration or something. You want that option you have it huge pantry area here off to the side and more pantry there it's going to be an eight cubic foot nor cold refrigerator just turn it on a couple hours later you're ready to go flip it on automatic pretty easy to figure out there's your nor cold badge little polar bear does have the solid wood uh, uh, paneling on the doors which is definitely nice more residential feel kind of back up here I do want to point out it does have home theater speakers all around see the speakers up in the ceiling right there there's your duct work for your AC right there ducted AC all throughout ducted heat in your entertainment center area it does accommodate the uh, fireplace and it is basically a space heater also in a DVD player CD player easy to figure out that one and you also have flat screen TV this is on a pull out tray by the way just pull this little button here and this tray pulls out they put a little flat screen in here probably no five they probably had uh, the old TVs but I'd uh, say it's probably I don't know 20 24 inch flat screen and all right let's speed it up going up into the master bedroom king bed King bed does lift up. Usually you'd get a queen bed in 2005, but this is a king. And there's enough uh, storage space underneath the king bed for blankets and pillows, but uh, definitely a nice feature to have for storage. Huge closet. I do check all the corners for water damage. Did not find any issues. All four corners I do check. And anyway, uh, TV would go right there if you wanted that option. That's where it would go. Show off those cabinets there. Second slide out, which accommodates, of course, the king bed. And, oh, I forgot to turn that light on. Uh, you do have a little accordion door that collapse there in the corner for privacy from the master bedroom into the bathroom. And this uh, full glass enclosed, one piece, seamless, residential style shower, stand up shower with seating so you can shave your legs. And skylight. It does look like they've upgraded the shower nozzle. It doesn't look like the traditional shower nozzles that they offered in 2005 on the fifth wheels and travel trailers. Show off the vanity area. That is a medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. And this is also that J-Stone or Corian style solid surface countertop, not a Famica top, which is usually what you'll find in the bathrooms of fifth wheels if they did offer it in the kitchen. They do that to cut costs, but uh, not on the Jayco designer line. A uh, private commode area, foot flush toilet. Nice fantastic vent fan there to get all the stuff he smells out. I do want to point out to put the slide out in the bedroom. There's your button right there. All your vinyl is all in excellent condition. Your vinyl flooring. And again, all your carpet, showroom condition. 
definitely definitely excellent condition on the inside of this camper uh, thermostat controls right here for your heat and your AC I believe your your furnace is going to be a 35,000 BTU ducted furnace it might even be a 40 I'm going to say it's a safe bet it's at least a 35,000 BTU here's your command center here can tells you where you're on your batteries you've got dual batteries on this camper not just a single battery I'll show that when we get outside freshwater tank is going to be 85 gallon freshwater tank your bad your black tank is going to be your toilet and I believe that's 35 gallon and your gray tank I believe are going to be 70, 70 gallon uh, gray tanks which are the sink and shower oh and there's your slide out button for the living room okay let's speed this video up give you one last look at the living room here okay this is a four seasons camper uh, you can go into extended seasons if you want and not have to worry about your holding tanks freezing up or even your dump valves. Uh, this is fully enclosed heated underbelly. And show that off here, back side here. You do have the 15 inch aluminum alloy wheels. All your tires, I believe the manufacturing date of the 14th week of 2014. Show up those tires there for you. They're in excellent condition. Uh, you do have easy lube, greasable axles, and I do believe this is a more ride uh, suspension. Oh, I do want to point out some of your wheel liners here. They're showing it's normal wear and tear, but anyway. And I do want to point out uh, there's the decals that say designer. They're starting to show some aging, but other than that, all the other decals are pretty much excellent condition. Speed up this video a little bit. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, aluminum framing. It's going to be all aluminum frame construction. There's your duct work so right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got radiant heat in the store garage area here. So you have a, basically a heated garage area. There's going to be your dual batteries. Oh, and I do want to point out there's your battery disconnect. Saves you on your battery when you're not using the camper. Again, as I pointed out, it's aluminum frame, full aluminum frame construction, no wood integrated into the framing of this camper on Jayco designer lines. Uh, all your framing is going to be 16 inches on center. Just like they build a house, a lot of the competitors will just do framing where as needed. And it's just to cut cost of building these things, but uh, Jayco does a great job. Beautiful rear molded fiberglass cap. And again, your front cap is a molded fiberglass cap. Beautiful rear cap ladder to get up on your full walk on roof. Show it back side here. Here's your slide out full awning package, slide out awning package. And all your awnings are in excellent condition. I do want to point out while I'm back here, there's a little, uh, little hitch system here, hitch receiver. Probably for like a little rack if you want to put it on the back carry a generator or something like that. There's your fully enclosed heated and underbelly and your spare tire. This is 50 amp service. There's your cable hookups here. And I don't know if I pointed out, I do check for delamination which is the bubbling that you get on the fiberglass caused by water damage. I did not find any issues. On all your gray decals, they look like a speckled or a crackle. I think it's supposed to be like that because all the other decals are fine. So, and it's just your gray decals that show the crackle effect or the stress look, and I think they're supposed to be like that. Oh, scare light, service light right there. There's your bay window right here that pops out. I didn't want to mess with it, so I'm honestly, I've, I've never. Uh, operated ones so anyway the owners know how to do it and they say they put potted plants in there but I do want to point out this is the other fender skirt it shows a little bit of wear on it this is definitely wear, normal wear and tear but uh, I thought it, it was important to point that out definitely a beautiful camper there is again your slide out toppers or slide out awnings uh, okay speed up this video okay sewer hose goes here and there's your furnace exhaust that's a probably 35,000 BTU furnace at least maybe a 40 outside uh, hot and cold running water there black tank sewer flush rinses out your toilet tank you don't have to drag a hose inside anymore 
10 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. I forgot to show the switch at the monitor panel inside, but flip the switch on whether you're boondocking or you're hooked up to shore power, 10, 15 minutes later, you've got hot water. That is a 10 gallon, that's a large one. And again, see, there's your gray decals that are got that little crackle effect. Again, all the other ones are fine. Okay, garage area. This is the back side of the garage area. Again, there's your aluminum framing and it is heated. There's going to be your water works uh, station here. You can follow the directions on the panel and it tells you how to winterize and stuff like that. Your dump valves or gate valves are all protected from the elements. You don't have to worry about your gate valves uh, freezing up. They're right there. There we go. You can go into colder seasons and I do want to point out your uh, compartment doors are insulated. Nice huge dual 30 pound LP tanks. Second one's behind the first one here and it's on a pull out tray, which is cool. There's your button for your electric jacks on the front. All right. Before I back up too far, see your designer decals. They're starting to show some aging, but all the other decals are really fine. And again, I think the gray decals, I think they're supposed to be like that, like that crackle effect. There we go. Again, no delamination which is that bubbling on the front or on the sides and uh, I didn't find any issues on the inside. It's a clean camper. Other than fact, it's got a little scratch on that front corner cap here. And see, you're, let's see. Oh, the sun's gonna get me. There we go, see, the decal on the front. Showing some sign of uh, wear, but anyway, if it's a, an issue, you can always, uh, a couple hundred bucks, order a new one. See, there's that little chip in the front. Put a little paint on it and you're good to go. But, oh, I do. The, the compartment's locked, but that's more storage right there. There you go. Show that off. Okay. All right. I know I forgot a bunch of stuff. Yes, I did. Here, I got to point this out. Got a little bit of time. Uh, your grill, gas grill hooks up right there. And there's your gas grill hookup right there. And your awning. I couldn't put it out because the tree was in the way. It's a 20 foot awning, manual awning, and it's in excellent condition. The owner says it's, it's excellent, but we couldn't put it out because this little weeping willow here is in the way. Okay. Definitely a beautiful fifth wheel for the age. You can't get any cleaner. If you want to come and see the camper, uh, you just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. Uh, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow Help Sell My RV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thank you.